Now, we, we threw a couple phrases at you here, turning towards, turning away, and there's a third one, turning against. So we've now recognized these emotional bits. Great, guys, I'm listening, I'm following along. What do we do with them, and how do we deepen that connection? Well, turning towards an emotional bid is what we need to do to deepen that connection. And turning towards someone's emotional bids means giving them your attention, approval, and acceptance, giving them that value that we talked about. And when you turn towards them, that person hears, I see you, I care, I'm invested. That is what they hear when we are turning towards that bid. I know you're nodding your head, Johnny. Well, there is turning towards, turning away, and turning against. And I know a lot of couples out there like to think that they have a good relationship where their significant other can come to them with anything. And that's certainly where you would like to be in your relationship. You would want your significant other, if something was bothering them, to come and tell you about it so you guys can work it out. Now, how do you get to a place where both parties feel good about coming to each other about what is bothering them concerning them well it is turning towards emotional bids every time that there is an emotional bid and you turn towards it you are opening up lines of communication i want you to think of uh, communication phone lines going between you and the person that you have this relationship with every time you turn toward them when they throw out an emotional bid you open those lines up when you turn away, you constrict those lines. So if those communication lines are not opening up, then why would the person who needs support come to you when they run the risk of get, throwing out an emotional bid and you not acknowledging it? If you ignore it, they're, they're put in a position where they feel neglected. And if they feel neglected or ignored, then those lines have broken down, they're constricted, and you're going to get less emotional bids. If you learn what the emotional bids are, you're attentive and you acknowledge them and you validate them with confirmation and you explore them, you're opening up these lines. And now every time that that person has a problem, has an issue, wants to share in celebra celebration, you're the person that they're coming to. So if your relationship is faltering, and this is any relationship with friends, family, significant other, then you have to work to opening those lines back up. Once those lines are back up, then you're going to reap the benefits of that. If those lines are closed, well, of course, your significant other isn't coming to you with issues, problems, or a celebration. And guess what? They will find somebody else who they can come to to find that support and to find somebody to celebrate with. And nobody wants that. And I would also like to point out that this doesn't have to be a lot. So we are looking not, the other person is not looking for a major commitment. He or she is looking for a connection. So if, if, um, a, if, if Amy were to say to AJ, oh, those Harry Potter movies, they were great. We have to do another Harry Potter marathon. AJ doesn't have to close the computer, cancel all his appointments, and then sit down for 93 hours, right? That would be the commitment. It would be enough for AJ to say, oh, yeah, you're right. Like, they were so great. You remember this Quidditch match in the first movie, right? That is already to turning toward that emotion. So you don't always have to, you know, close everything you're doing and, and go after this. Just recognizing it and letting the other person know that I see you. I care about you. That is enough to turn it toward.